Uh, thanks, cool. Tor. So it's questions time. Yeah? Exactly. <laughs> so why don't we all uh, share and uh, hide the uh, with this minus uh, little thing presentation and have to see each other, which is all fun. And uh, yeah, so questions. There were, there were a number of them here in the uh, in the chat. Uh, so Ralph, you're you you were very interested in the uh, resource uh, saving that Gabriel Gabriel implemented there. Yeah. yeah, my question was, is that already in the regular uh, Collabora version and how to switch it on and fine tune it to what we need? Because we basically uh, we have the same problems. We have, I would call it wild running uh, processes. And obviously at the moment, the only thing we can do if we identify it's in that pot, we kill the pot. But obviously, that throws everyone else uh, out of it, out of their document, and that's not desired. If it's just one document, sometimes a broken document, which causes a problem. You muted, Gabriel. <laughs> so it is the software. Yes. It, is, it is there in the software. It is there. Yeah. In yeah so is in. Uh, so is already there. Uh, what I want to mention is that. Um, I don't know what uh, what version uh, are you using, but uh, at some point I saw a problem there because uh, the name of the tip process is uh, changed and uh, wasn't changed in uh, that mechanism, so it was a problem. But I, as far as I remember, I fixed that. I don't remember when, uh, probably a few months ago. But if you will take the latest version, uh, it will it should work. Yeah, so we are like one week or so behind the latest version usually. Ah, no, no, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's enabled by default, Gabriel, or not? I, I assume we should no, enable no. it by default, but it's not enabled by default. Should it's not enabled by default. Uh, well, it's normal to not be enabled by default because uh, it's, uh, <laughs> well, it kills processes. It's something. <laughs> uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so, it, sounds like it might be rather useful. You, you might die of something else if you don't get killed from that. You know? so, yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, so uh, how do you enable? Um, uh, you have an enable attribute in the cleanup, I think, tag, which enables uh, uh, the mechanism. Um, it enables both mechanisms, the lost for lost kits and for uh, resource consuming. Uh, if you want to disable uh, uh, for, uh, the mechanism for uh, lost kits, uh, you just need to put a zero inside that uh, grace period. and. Uh, and that's it. The numbers that are there, uh, the default numbers, um, uh, are very close to what we, we are using. So uh, it could be it could prove uh, useful to know that because we already tested them and they worked very fine. Yeah. So thanks, Gabriel. Very helpful. Yeah. Thanks a lot. And uh, so a, 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 any other question, you can contact me. I I will help you. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's <laughs> thanks, thanks a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is the price of fish in Lithuania? You know, yeah. Yeah, well, it's, it's good to know that uh, someone else will use this mechanism because, as far as I know, only we are using it <laughs> for now. I mean, we have a similar deployment also on Kubernetes, so yeah, yeah. we're probably facing similar problems even if we use it uh, on a much smaller scale. I, yeah. I was particularly encouraged by your stats that gave, but 35,000 users editing every 24 hours and only 50 to 100, which is like 0.3% of them have. have yeah, problem, yes, right? uh, yes, but you know, uh, <laughs> a single, uh, single kit process, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. an entire pot. So. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, so the other question I have for you, Gabriel, is what hardware are you running your, your cluster on or what? how does that look? Uh, well, I don't have uh, honestly uh, access to that information. All I can say is uh, that we are running two cores per per pod, mm -hmm. and uh, I think that's it. What I can say. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Um, any other questions? Were there more in here? In the oh, we, we were very interested, Andras, in your tr in, in translation uh, stuff uh, and and trying to reduce it and toilets and profiling and. 
whether we have more than we need in there. I don't, I don't know. Yes, so there are a couple of questions in the shared notes, Anders. So uh, basically, first question is in which language uh, Collabra is lacking effort uh, and why? Less native speaker, other cultural logic, etc. And the contrary, in which language we are most efficient? Uh, there was a couple of links. I think I, I and probably Elisa dropped so we, people can see the, the statistics there. And of course, yeah, it can. Yeah, we have statistics on the, on the WebLate instance, so you can get very detailed data about that. Yeah, so I, I just presented, I think there, was, there are 25 languages, about 90%. So these are the maintained, and we support uh, about 70 languages. And, and 100 in LibreOffice core, but there is a long tail, of course. So with only a few strings and a true percentage, I, I'm considering a, a language as uh, available, as complete. I mean, uh huh. I think we build uh, for for the online part. We build everything, even with the smallest contribution. And for the core, we pick the, the 50 most translated languages. So, and of course, so we provide those 50 language packs, but uh, of course, uh, users don't have to install them all, just just those that are actually needed. So. And there was some thought about WebLate resetting translations as you move between versions or something like that and being different products. Is that right or how does that work? Well, now we have two versions, 6.4 and uh, the next, 2021. And we try to keep them in sync in terms of even if we add something to 2021, we don't remove. So. Uh, we translate master basically, and we can uh, backport those translations easily to uh, to six four, and and we reduce the the workload on translators, so we don't have two uh, projects for for each version in public. Cool. Um, were there other questions, or anyone else? I guess we're we're slightly running into the next slot already. Is that right? Now we have six minutes left. We have six minutes left. I, I can't read. So that's good. <laughs> In which case? Yeah. So there, were, yeah, there were uh, people here uh, amazed uh, with the Gulsha presentation and the attention to detail to fiddle with the uh, XML and try to find out from where the problem comes. Um, uh, I'm just trying to scan it for questions. Yes, and then there was this question we, William was asking about uh, if we have uh, deep L integration. But I think we don't, if I'm not mistaken. Actually, Kendi has answered to me that yeah. you are kind of partnership with, with them, and the, and the reason we have uh, all Collabora logo on the WeBlade homepage. Exactly. But this doesn't answer the question whether we have DeepL integrated, basically. <laughs> so I will have to check yeah. this after after the meeting just to see. <laughs> Nicholas wants DeepL in, in Collabora Online as well, <laughs> uh, which is uh, yeah, 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 these little little requests, you know. Yeah, I need to translate so many texts and uh, it would make my life much easier. And it's actually not only me, uh, in my team, several people asked me, hey, can we have DeepL integrated into Colabora Online? And I said, yeah, mm -hmm. I don't know, <laughs> maybe we need to pay for it. <laughs> question. I wonder how difficult it is to do. Uh, this could be uh, interesting because for the new translation uh, tool I want to deploy on the website, uh, something which uh, will allow to translate in context. So uh, 
would uh, will be uh, glad that we would have finally this on our website. Uh, mm -hmm. This tool is called Translate Press, and it requires indeed uh, API access to DeepL integration. So maybe we could, if we don't have access to to, to DeepL on Reblade, maybe this is a combination of uh, access we could get, since this so, is basically the same API. So, so William, uh, I've just checked. Uh, we have uh, we have the depot. Okay. Uh, so just guys, for those you, who don't when, know, when you start translating uh, in your language, there is this uh, automatic. Uh, I don't know. I have it in Czech. So, <laughs> automatic <laughs> subs, uh, like uh, recommendations, and uh, like uh, there is uh, uh, there is depot. And there is, I don't know, Google Translate. Uh, Just saying that Deepl is, is really much better than compared to all the other services. Like it beats all of them, um, at least for the language that I know, especially German, English, and French. And uh, it's, it's nearly perfect, really. It's Indeed, awesome. this is what I'm using at Martin Marston. This made my life basically easier, way easier yeah. when translating. Yeah. So. <laughs> Any other questions or thoughts or thoughts or 